In this coding challenge, we'll be using Scratch to code an interactive choose-your-own-adventure project. You can use this tutorial to create a story, a quiz game, more like today to share something that you've learned. I'll be making a project that shares information about food chains linked to sustainable development goal number 14, life below water. Start by making a plan. An organizer like this will help you keep track of where you're going with your project. Naming backgrounds and sprites linked to your project is a great way to keep things organized. The names that I use to label things on my paper will be the same names that I use for my sprites and backgrounds on Scratch. You can design and code each scene at the same time or create a few at once. I'm gonna make the first three backgrounds and text that I planned on paper. All the interactive buttons in my plan will be sprites that I'll add soon. On the backdrops tab, I can customize the backdrop and add text. Don't forget to name each scene. You'll need to know the names of those scenes when we're doing our code later. To save time, I'm duplicating my first slides and changing the text based on my organizer. With the first three backgrounds designed, we can start to design some of the text sprites that people will click on to navigate through the project. You can duplicate each sprite to save time, and then edit the text. The coding is pretty repetitive in this project, but there's a lot of it, so it's easy to get mixed up. You'll be glad that you spent the time naming all your sprites and backgrounds. For each sprite, you'll set the conditions for when it should show and hide. The sprite from the first slide should show when the green flag is clicked, but every other sprite that you create should hide when the green flag is clicked. You'll code the sprites to show when the backdrop changes to the right scene, depending on when you want them to display. You'll also code them to hide again when the scene changes. This will take a lot of trial and error to get it right. I click the green flag to test my project and make changes constantly while making this project. Once I get the first three scenes and their buttons all coded properly, I'm ready to add more scenes from my plan.
To make my project more fun for the viewer, I'm going to add some sea creature animations. This shark is perfect. Code it to move however you like. Scratch doesn't have a picture of a tuna, so let's find one online. From Google image searches, it's important to choose pictures that have a Creative Commons license. This means that the creator of the photo has given us permission to use their picture for projects like this. I'll need to remove the white background for this image. Use a tool such as remove.bg to give the photo a transparent background. Upload the image as a sprite, and you can edit the costume, and animate it however you like. What will you do for your Choose Your Own Adventure project? How will you organize your plan to help you keep track of the sprites and backgrounds in Scratch? Be sure to share your projects with us.